I was having a little bit of gravity. First time I saw you, I swear to God, the world stopped. Just for a second. The earth ceased to rotate and I experienced gravity in a whole new way. Sideways. The first time that I met you, my eyes stopped blinking and my head stopped thinking and my heart stopped sinking into a place it shouldn't be. Now it goes where you go because it doesn't belong to me. The first time that I touched you, I felt your hands around my soul, gathering up the pieces, making me something more than whole. You see, I was complete before I held you. My heart just didn't have a name. And maybe I could survive without you, but it wouldn't be the same. Because you see that thing you do to me with gravity? It happens every time you walk into a room. You make my landscape bloom and then your eyes connect with mine. So write your name across my heart. Feel free to take up every part. It really does belong to you. And there's nothing I would do to change that fact. If there was another world sat back to back, I would find you. And I would proudly claim that you could sign me up again. In any universe that's out there, there isn't much I wouldn't do to fill that planetary pull that always brings me close to you. But then, your leg was touching my leg. Your leg was touching my leg. Totally accidental, nothing was intentional, but your leg was touching my leg. Now there is a temperature growing on my thigh right there. Heat exchange with lack of air and now I really am aware your leg is touching my leg. Oh, your leg is still as you're engaged in what we came to see. Try as I might, I cannot focus on anything but that heat. And now there's a cramp in my left butt cheek. But I cannot reposition on this seat even though my hip is screaming at my knee. Your leg is touching my leg, you see. Now, at the end of the day, we each go our own way with the usual goodbye and take care. Totally, blissfully, thankfully, unaware. But this is where it gets annoying. Because now it's four in the morning. And I can't sleep as I'm laying here in this bed, because in my head, I can still feel your leg touching my leg. <laughs> I'm sure you've worked out by now. My imagination looks like a dog waiting to be fed. <laughs> Sat in the corner staring at me constantly. She goes wherever I do, makes a scene or two, climbs up on my lap, makes herself comfortable, gives me a problem to chew. She's the gum that sticks my soul to the floor, keeps me looking for the door. She needs regular walks to desolate places so no one can see her desperate faces spilling over the edge of her tightly done laces. She's screaming and shouting and filling up spaces. She's watching the room and counting the paces. With her breath on my heel, it's easy to feel like control is not mine, but she tells me it's fine. She knows what I want. She knows what I need. She knows who I am when it's time to feed. Ooh.